Hi guys, welcome back to ABLC Studio and in today's video, I will show you three types of chainless foundation. I do have some notes and you see them on the screen. They are pretty helpful so you might want to pause the video to take a good look. The best place to practice the technique is the chainless double crochet foundation. So that's where we're gonna start. First, we need a beginning chain and because we are going to work with double crochet, that's why it is going to be a chain of 3. Then we are going to yarn over. You can put your finger here so that it's easier to control. Insert the hook into the first chain, this one, okay? Now with the working yarn, bring our loop. You will see that you have three loops on your hook. Now next, we're gonna need to bring up this last loop a little taller than it is right now. Otherwise, we're gonna end up with a curvy foundation and that's not what we want. We want a nice and straight foundation, right? So this step is pretty important. Bring up this last loop, then yarn over and pull through one loop, which is this loop that we just brought up. Like so, you'll see that you are back to three loops. Now the same way that we finish a double crochet, we yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is the first double crochet foundation. What you see here is a beginning chain, and then next to it is this double crochet foundation. This is the body of the double crochet, on top of that is a V, and then under that double crochet is a foundation that look more like an 8 than a V. And that's where we're going to insert our hook for the next double crochet foundation. So let's make the second double crochet foundation. Yarn over, insert the hook under that foundation that look kind of like an 8, right there and then bring our loop, okay? Three loops on the hook. And again, you're gonna need to bring up the last loop a little bit, like so. Yarn over, pull through one loop. That's the foundation right there. And then finish the double crochet with yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And there you see, we have the beginning chain, first double crochet foundation, and second double crochet foundation. Now let's make the third double crochet foundation. Yarn over, insert your hook under that foundation, the eight under this last double crochet foundation, right? Right there. Like so, draw our loop, bring up this last loop, yarn over, pull through one loop for the foundation, and then finish the double crochet with yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is the third double crochet foundation. Now one more time, a yarn over, insert the hook under the foundation of the last stitch, draw a loop, bring the last loop up, yarn over, pull through one loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. There you have the beginning chain that sometimes count as a stitch, and then four double crochet foundation. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now before we move on, I will show you one more time. Yarn over, insert the hook in the under the foundation, these two loops under the last double crochet, right? Right there, draw our loop, bring the last loop up a little, yarn over, pull through one loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
Now you know how to do it, you can make as much double crochet foundation as you like or as the pattern tells you. Now I will show you how to do the half double crochet foundation. The beginning chain for half double crochet foundation would be a chain of 2. Now for half double crochet, let's yarn over. Insert the hook into the first chain and draw our loop. The same way we did with the double crochet foundation, we're gonna need to bring up this last loop a little bit higher and then yarn over, pull through one loop for the foundation and then finish the half double crochet with a yarn over and pull through three loops. And that is the first half double crochet foundation. This is the beginning chain and then this is the half double crochet. It's, it's a little bit hard to see right now, but you see the V on top of the half double crochet right there next to this beginning chain. And then under that, you will see the foundation which looks more like an 8 than a V, okay? And just like when we make the double crochet foundation, that's where we're going to put the next half double crochet foundation. So let's make the second one, yarn over, insert the hook under that foundation, the two loops that form an eight, like so, and then draw our loop. Bring the last loop up a little, yarn over and pull through one loop, and then finish the half double crochet with yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook and that is the second half double crochet foundation you see the V on top of the half double crochet the half double crochet and then under it you will see the foundation that look like an egg and that's where we're going to insert the hook for the next half double crochet foundation let's do it yarn over insert the hook under that foundation that's shaped like an 8. The next one, like so. Draw a loop. Bring the last loop up a little. Yarn over and pull through one loop. Finish the half double crochet with yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that, you see, it's a third half double crochet foundation. Let's do another one, yarn over, insert the hook under the last foundation, draw our loop, bring up the loop a little bit, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, now let's do a few. Now let's do the last one, which is the chainless triple crochet foundation, starting with a chain of 4. For triple crochet, we're gonna yarn over 2 times and we're also gonna do that here, yarn over 2 times. Put your finger here so that it's easier to control and then insert the hook in the first chain, this one. Okay. And with the working yarn, draw our loop. You see that you have four loops on the hook. Then just the same as we work for a double crochet foundation and half double crochet foundation, we're gonna need to bring this last loop up a little bit, like so. And then yarn over, pull through one loop. That's for the foundation. And then for treble crochet, yarn over and pull through two three times. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. 
that's the first triple crochet foundation now what you see here is a beginning chain a triple crochet with a V on top of it and under that triple crochet is the foundation that look more like an 8 than a V okay that's where we're going to insert the hook for the next treble crochet foundation. So, yarn over two time, insert the hook under the foundation that's shaped like an eighth, like so, and then draw our loop. Bring the last loop up a little bit, yarn over, pull through one, and then finish treble crochet with yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And there we have the second treble crochet foundation. Okay, one more time. Yarn over two times. Insert the hook under the last foundation. Right there. Draw our loop. Bring the last loop up a little. Yarn over and pull through one loop. Then yarn over and pull through two, three times. And there you have it. One more time. Yarn over two times. Insert the hook in the last foundation under this treble crochet that we just did. Okay. Like so. Draw our loop. Bring up the last loop a little. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Then yarn over, pull through two loops, three times. So, one, two, and three. Let's make a few more. 